Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and after a brief break involving a Mexican Coke and replacing a broken headlight, I'd like to welcome you back to Cadence of Hyrule here with our dear friend Zelda. I think we're going to go through the jungle with her and see what we can accomplish. And by jungle, obviously, I mean Frozen Grotto. But um, we have our first dungeon, and uh, it's going to be really fun because we equipped the Ruby Dagger for some reason. It deals one damage to a single enemy, but it heals half a heart after defeating five enemies. Does that sound worth it? I don't know about you, but I, I don't like it. Um, so for the most part... I think I like that titanium flail after using it. Uh, it's been doing pretty good for us, so I think I might hang on to it. Um, this might be our weapon of choice, and it looks like I think we only have one glass flail, but we'll go and use that because, well, let's get rid of it. And uh, the way that these dungeons are set up are in such a way that there's only two real rooms that we have to deal with, and then we'll get the dungeon item and uh, defeat the boss. But most of the time, the dungeon item is kind of useless, so... Let's just see what we can do by coming back to this and killing everyone that we see. Like this magic carpage, oh boy, don't know what is happening. That was really dumb. And I had why wolfos kick my ass. Kick my ass really hard. Thank you. Damage up at low HP, we should probably grab it. And uh, we don't have to kill everyone here, we just have to get to the next room, really. So it really just depends and excuse me. Why did it re-equip this? That is silly. Also, Ori is scratching the welcome mat. That's wonderful. Don't like how you play this game, how you tricked me. You tricked me. You tricked me into doing a dumb thing and a compass. Uh yeah, so for the most part, enemies here will be of the uh frozen variety. That's always fun. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm gonna die pretty immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying I'm an idiot, because I am. Freezing enemies. Seems counterproductive. Uh, luckily, we have a ton of uh, health stuff. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Please come closer to my bombs and explode them. Explode them. Explode them. Please, please, hmm, we'll be fine. I am pretty confident, although I can see that there is a, a shop in here, so let's go and explore that. Damn, I hate that it switched me right to that ruby heart. That was dumb. Please and thank you. Oh, baby. That was amazing. Uh, let's grab this. Why not? Thank you, sir. Or also, Ori just jumped onto the couch after not having spoken to me once in this <laughs> entire span of a short break. Thank you. This head has been harassing me for quite a while. Don't like that. Don't like it. Also, pressing double buttons is really stupid. Hmm. Thank you for shattering my ring, by the way. Thank you. Damn, those guys do a lot of damage. But a key is what we deserve. Uh, should I kill all these guys? Probably. Did I dash? I dashed with my... Oh, that was dumb. Oh, it's auto. What are you doing? Oh, this is bad. I'm doing a very poor job on this dungeon. This guy will not die. So, let's resort to plan B. Please and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the spear. For the spear. I'm gonna die and I'm gonna deserve it. Please and thank you. All right. Please don't spawn. Please don't spawn any more friends. Any more friends. They are not my friends. Not my friends. Not my friends. You, you too. Please and thank you, did not want to go up. I'm not gonna be able to get those items. God damn it. <laughs> uh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, but it does let us go over here. And did I need the hover boots? That would have been nice for this. Now, I'm curious, very curious. So we have yet to really use 
the fire arrows. And uh, at the cost of stamina, would it be worth it to... No, not what I wanted to do. Excuse me. Uh, will it work? Find out right now. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, I should not be able to uh, get through this whatsoever. Okay. I'm absolutely useless, I'm telling you right now. Okay, so... Another room. Second room. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Going to kill every asshole in this room. Please and thank you. Nice. So a map is nice. Also, fights. Hey guys. Whoops. Wrong button to press when I want to use my bombs. Excuse me. Coming through now. Killing enemies. That is dumb. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this game is infinitely easier to play when you're not talking. So, just in case you're wondering why I'm making it look so hard. Please and thank you. Stop freezing me. Alright, where are you at? Damn, wish I could have gotten rid of that shot. There is a chest here. I say... Oh, an actual rapier. Thanks for teaching me the ways. Now... Hmm... Yeah, let's take a look. Hey, how's it going? Ooh, and a glass dagger. Um... I did not have the spear equipped because it auto equips it, which is infuriating. And I don't think about it because it's not something that should be in the game. It's just you pick up a weapon and it auto equips. And I had just the regular ass rap. Yeah. So two damage, which isn't bad. And it lunges you forward one. So we will use that in better circumstances. But for now, let's take a look. Grabbing good items and weapons. No health, no health. Sadly, should not be shocked. Uh, yeah, let's grab this multiplayer based vision. That's not too bad. I don't know that there's anything I want up here. My shovel is broken. I got frozen by a keys. Ice keys are dumb, and I hate them. They are so dumb, like these electric jellyfish. So I think we're essentially finished unless we want to start bringing these guys to life. And the double tap every single time. Thank you. Yeah, holding that hope that I could have gotten a kill. And shovel. Where did this come from? Hmm. Well, I guess I could use it, but not like we need to. It's going to be super slow. Very slow, very slow, and very dumb, very dumb, so dumb, like this commentary, who is actually watching, nobody, nobody, let's go, let's go up the stairs, and actually finish the goddamn dungeon, please, <sighs> safety, um, so that is essentially all four of the dungeons, uh, although they do have their little caveats, uh, if we had hover boots or, you know, glass slippers, this would be quite simple. And, uh, I already screwed up. So there's another treasure down there. And what I could do to kind of, you know, cheese it. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's see this. Excuse me. Uh, so here, let's grab this first before we see what the other thing is. Boss key. Perfect. And that'll lead us back to the room where the boss is. Now this is probably something good. We can't cross through that. There's only two ways to go about doing this. So if I end up going along over here, down, and through here, now that's already a dead end. I already screwed that up. But can we move this? Hold the phone just a second. Yes, we can. How much do we move it? I think, uh, do we try... Ooh, maybe that's... Oh, it was going to keep moving anyways. Didn't have a choice. Yeah, because the world doesn't move until you dictate it to be so. And this just takes us back over here. Back to square one. Lovely. 
Well, um, I do think I'm a, a bit of an impasse. I'm usually really good at these puzzles, but this one is giving me issues for some reason. What the? Oh, I can do this. I did not realize that. Um, I don't know that there's any use to it, because I don't know that I can do anything that would, you know, help in this regard. But it's worth a shot. Oh, now it's stuck, and I probably screwed myself. Oh, hi. Uh, can I do this to my advantage? I don't think so. Maybe I can. Maybe I can break the game. Or maybe I can't, because now I'm stuck. Hmm. Is this really all I had to do, was just push the... I, okay, that was really dumb. I probably don't even... Well, I don't need this for sure, but I probably didn't even need to <laughs> cut away there because I found it almost immediately because I just thought of how stupid that seemed. But now I can't get to where I need to be. Uh, although, I guess I can. Can't I? No, I cannot. All right, reload the room. Let's go, Princess Zelda. Uh, so, yeah, not inherently worth it. What am I doing? Uh... Why am I so bad at this all of a sudden? You go here, and you go here, go here, and now, done. All right, uh, any hearts in there, by the way? I think I see maybe one. <laughs> Is that one in the corner? Y'all got any of them, any of them hearts? Oh, you're a bee, and you, sh you shattered my broadsword that it auto-equipped to. Lovely, <laughs> don't you love this game? <laughs> Uh, this is what happens when I record things uh, too eagerly. Uh, anyways, we can now choose the Pegasus Anklet, the Great Bow, or the Boomerang. Now, I love me the Great Bow. And the Pegasus Anklet, can you guess what that does? Um, the Boomerang could be useful. Eventually we'll get the magic one, but I think for all intents and purposes, if one of these had been health, that would have been lovely. Great Bow. You know, since I doubt we're going to need any of these, uh, I'm just going to go for the Great Bow. Let's do it. An upgrade on your old bow. This bow fires arrows that pierce enemies, damaging all enemies in a line. Lovely. So, oh, and we have the Fire Rod. Good God. All right, and Din's Fire. Why am I a dum-dum? Um, well, I'm going to go back to normal arrows, because I don't think the boss is effective against, uh, you know, things. And I have the Fire Rod just in case he is. And uh, we're done. Can I drop down from here? Yes, I can, because we have that. Uh, maybe I'm gonna run out and try to grab some health, because uh, I don't feel very safe here, especially in my current state of affairs. Um, we could probably just go straight to a fairy fountain, as dumb as that sounds. Let's do it, let's be cheap bastards. Let's go visit our friend, and maybe we'll get a rapier. We'll get it uh, all fixed up. Please and thank you. Aw, didn't even get my stamina. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm bad at this game. I never claimed to be good. I just thought I really liked it, okay? So we are finished. Let's take on the boss before the video gets too long and prepare ourselves for some of the cooler aspects of this game. And that's the boss fight. Greetings, holder of the Triforce. My name is Octavo, and Hyrule belongs to me, at least for now. If you don't like it, see if you can stop me. I'll be waiting at the top of Hyrule Castle. You'll need to find all four of my magical instruments to reach me there. Allow me to introduce the first of my champions. Power of water flow through my oboe with an icy cold. That's right, they went there. The Wiz Robo. Lovely. So these fights generally are a little more frenetic, frenetic and you have to avoid a lot of the things that you've seen hazardous to your health. And um, you wanna watch out for that. Ooh, thank you for the arrows and getting frozen and having damage done to me now. Please not to me, not to me now. Ooh, ooh, hi. How's it going? This is bad. Don't like this game that we're playing. Shit. Missed the shot now. 
Miss the shot now. Where are you going? Going down. Where are you? Mm. Oh. Uh, was that it? Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, that heart container did not fill my life. I forgot about that. But that was the first boss. And this is the first instrument. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mozart in the Jungle. It's the almighty oboe. You got the oboe! You can feel a magical aura when you hold it. This may help you stop Octavo. It's so good. And with that, uh, we've defeated one of his four champions. Just three more to go. And peace has returned here to the frozen lake. Which is kind of funny because it's going to start getting overrun again very soon. As in the second we leave. But now we have to go find a broken windmill. And there's still things up north we need to explore and discover. So I think I'm going to start the next episode by filling out some of this world. And then maybe we'll end up going up here to the cliffs and figuring out what the hell is going on with this great fairy. Okay? That's going to be our business. Thank you so much for watching. And next time we continue the adventure. I'll see you guys then. Also, I have to sneeze. That was the worst.